I think a lot about what makes people do things. What makes us behave in certain ways, you know? Every night I think about this. Trapped in whatever behaviours, I don't know, cycles of violence or something. And is it possible to break these cycles? Is it possible to break? And I'm sitting here thinking about all this and, and then this cat, this, this gorgeous cat with no tail just appears at my door. I had my back door open because well, the garden's just... And she was really scared, you know, she was quite timid and it's just beautiful, so it is. So I, um, I bought her some food and the first time she just sniffs it and runs away. You know, the moment I moved, there was no sign of her for the rest of the night. You know, and I'm thinking to myself, behaviours, patterns, violence, breeding violence. And then the next night she comes in and I'm looking at her tail and I'm thinking, that's been cut off. But then I realise she's a Manx cat. Manx cats don't have any tails, they're born without them. And then the next night she comes a bit closer. And I'm thinking to myself, I'm actually starting to enjoy this. I'm looking forward to this. And then the next night she's in and she's eating. And from that moment on, she's in every night. She's on my lap. She's following me around. She's waiting on the windowsill for me when I get home. She's eating and meowing to get in every night. Then one night, she scratches me out of the blue, just an ordinary cat scratch. A vindictive cat scratch. Look, see? She knew what she'd done. It took her three days to get back into my lap. And I'm sitting there and I'm stroking her warm and delicate, you know? And I put my hands around her throat and I squeeze and I squeeze. I'm sitting here, I'm sitting here with this dead cat, this was just last night, I'm sitting here with this dead cat in my lap and I thought I'd come see you, but here I am. <laughs>